Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be playing with a bunch of Korean makeup and I am super stoked about it. So Stylevana reached out to me yet again and asked if I would be interested in trying some more products from their site. So a few months ago, I did a little unboxing of some skincare that they had sent during I think like a getting ready with me video that I had done. I'll link it for you guys up here in the cards if you haven't seen it. But they asked if I would be interested in trying some other things, specifically some makeup. And I said, sure, why not? I think K-Beauty is really awesome. And I honestly haven't tried a ton of Korean makeup before. So I thought it'd be fun to sit down on camera and give some things a go. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Stylevana, they're an online retailer of K-Beauty and you can find tons of products at much more affordable prices for like the exact same product and the exact same brand than you would shop like here in the US. So like for example, Laneige, you can buy at Sephora, but you can also buy it on the Stylevana website at a fraction of the price. They also have tons of really unique and interesting brands that you can only get from Korea. So if you've been curious to dabble into the world of K-beauty, Stylevana is a really cool website to check out. And uh, they do have a discount code for me that for the life of me, I cannot remember right now. So I will have that for you guys in the description box of this video in case you'd like to save some cash money on your purchase. So given the fact that my uh, full face of makeup is already done, I've clearly already tried on all of the goodies that are in this box. So if you would like to see what style Vana sent me and hear some initial thoughts on all these K-Beauty products, we're about to get into it. All right, so there is some really fun stuff in this box that I am excited to dive into. I think the first thing I want to use is not really like a color cosmetic, but it will be good to get my lips nice and prepped before we start putting everything else on my face. And that is this absolutely adorable little pot right here. This is the Frutia Blueberry Hydrating Honey Lip Balm. So this apparently retails for, well it says, normally it's $7.32, but it's currently priced at $5.99 on the Stylevana website. So the description on the back of this packaging says, moisturizing and exfoliating effect of honeyed blueberry. Jam Lip Balm forms a honey juice barrier on chapped dry lips to softly exfoliate them and keep lips moisturized without greasiness. Contains fragrance of fresh and sweet fruits and honey, which sounds delicious to me. So let's dive right on in to this packaging. This looks like just the cutest component ever. Like seriously, it's a tiny little honey pot. Like I just, I can't. So this is what it looks like inside. It has kind of like a creamy texture. Ooh, it does smell fruity. That smells delicious. The texture kind of reminds me a bit of like Vaseline, the way that it appears in the tub, but uh, it goes on feeling a little Vaseline-y. Maybe not quite so greasy, but it smells absolutely Ooh, ooh, you get the honey definitely on like the end. It's not like upfront honey. It's definitely upfront fruity and then you get the honey after. Mmm, that's yummy. So let's move on to complexion. So I have a cushion foundation to use today. This is the Nisific Fresh Herb Origin Cover cushion. So this says its normal price is $40.78, but it's marked down by 67%. And right now you can get it for $13.59. I don't know if this is like a special Labor Day thing or if it's always this price, but that's pretty good. So this apparently only comes in two shades, light beige and natural beige, which is definitely not super inclusive. I feel like this happens a lot with Korean makeup. And it might just be that they're catering to the demographic of their regional population. I don't really know. I went with the shade Natural Beige, which looks like it's a little bit deeper. So I'm really curious to see how close that matches at all to my skin tone. It says that light beige is a beige color for light and bright skin tone. And the natural beige is beige color for healthy and calm skin tone. 
what a healthy and calm skin tone looks like? I don't really know, but I guess we're about to find out. Now, apparently this has a bunch of skincare benefits as well. The box is all entirely in Korean, so I'm trying to look at the website to see what the deal is with this product. It does have SPF 50 and it says it's PA++++. It does look like this is primarily a mineral-based sunscreen. The first ingredient is titanium dioxide. There is also zinc oxide in this, but there is also niacinamide. It says it has this oriental fruit complex to make the skin look tighter by removing active oxygen. I don't know what that's about. It's supposedly good for sensitive skin. It's supposed to be able to cover up scars and blemishes. It's infused with this Origin Serum, which I don't really know all that much about. But yeah, apparently it's supposed to give you some decent coverage, some good sun protection, as well as some nice skin brightening and anti-aging benefits. This is what the compact looks like. It's gold with like a nice little nude color to it. It's very pretty. And then inside you have your cushion. This actually ooh, feels very luxurious, really nice. I know that this said it was like a $40 product, so I would expect the cushion to be pretty decent. And then this is what it looks like inside. So it has like three different shades actually in here. Now this says it has a foundation and then two color correctors as well as the oriental fruit nuplex. So I'm guessing that this has like multiple sections and a bunch of different things going on but it all gets kind of like mixed together once you put it on your face. This actually does look a bit deeper than I was expecting so I'm very curious to see how this will actually apply to my skin. Okay, so <laughs> never mind. I feel like this looks like it's gonna be really dark, but then when you go to apply it, not so much. I was kind of afraid with my having a bit of a tan right now that this would go on looking very light and bright, and uh, it, it, it definitely is. This is a little lighter than my skin tone is at the present moment. It also smells very strongly of sunscreen. I will say that much. We could definitely go in with like some bronzer to make me look a little less pasty, but uh, the coverage, I mean, it's definitely decent, even if the shade match is a little off. And I feel like it's blending into the skin fairly well with the cushion. Now I didn't put a primer on because I kind of just wanted to see what this would be like all on its own. And I feel like the finish on this is very natural. It's not super dewy, but I wouldn't really call it matte either. It's kind of like a nice natural satin finish. I am also noticing just like a little bit of settling into the pores on my nose, which is not the best. But uh, we'll, we'll have to see kind of how this looks once we have the rest of everything else on my face. So yeah, overall I feel like the texture of this is nice, but obviously the shade is a little off. Like with my being at my most tan, this is a few shades too light for me. In the winter this color would probably work well, but obviously this is not going to be a product that's going to work for many people, like the shade range is going to very severely limit who can use this product on a daily basis. I'm gonna go in with my Milani concealer in my under eyes just to brighten up that area, a little around my nose. I don't even know. This normally is like light and bright on me, but I feel like it might look a little dark next to this. We shall see. And then I will also probably set with a little bit of powder as well, which I do not have one from Stylevana to test out. All right, so I think we're back on track. I set everything down with powder, I did my brows, I also added some bronzer, and I feel like that has helped at least a little bit with the too light 
foundation situation. Which leads us to the next product that's in the box, which is a blush. This is the Chica Ichiko One Touch Payam Payam Duo Blusher. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly at all. So it looks like these guys normally retail for $11.30, but you can get them for $9.79, which is only a 13% discount. And uh, I was sent shade 02. I don't believe that it has a specific name. Or no, it says Pink Indian Dancing, I guess. So this is what the compact looks like. It is super adorable. It's a little split pan blush. So we have this really vibrant coral on one side and then a really cool violet purple on the other. Two very bright, very distinct shades that I normally wouldn't think to pair together. So I'm really curious to see how they each individually look and then how they might look mixed together. So I'm going to do a little swatch. This does feel very soft. Hmm, let's see how pigmented these end up being. Okay, so here's the purple, here's the pink. Oh yeah, that is gonna pack a bit of a punch, I think. I'm gonna need to be, I'm gonna need to be careful with these. They do feel nice and soft though. So I wonder what happens if I take this pink and I layer the purple on top. I kind of just mix them together. Yeah, it creates a pretty sort of purpley toned pink shade. I am very curious and a little bit nervous about how this is gonna go, but uh, we're, we're just gonna go for it. I am gonna use my um, large angled contour brush from Sigma that I use to apply my bronzer, because why not? And I'm just gonna kind of like tap this in here and kind of mix the two shades together so they both kind of end up on the brush. And we're gonna take this, woo, oh yeah, that is pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take some of that on the other cheek to kind of diffuse the color. That is rosy. I feel like this shade feels very K-beauty to me though. Like I feel like a popsicle lip and a bright pink cheek with very minimal eyes screams K-beauty to me. Oh yeah, this you you only have to use a very little bit to get plenty of color payoff on your cheeks. I'll be really curious to see how um, long lasting it is as well. Okay, so let's see what we've got for eyes. I think there are a couple of things in here, so let's open it all up. Okay, so first we have some eyeshadow. So this is from a brand called Momentique, and this is their Time Shadow in seven o'clock. So the exterior packaging on this box has like a little clock on it. It's really pretty. So let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? It looks like a tiny little pocket watch. That is darling. If there's one thing I can credit K-Beauty for, it's having adorable, adorable packaging components and like product ideas. Now inside, this is just a little trio of neutral shades. You have one matte shade and two shimmers. So that's going to be pretty easy for us to work with and should go with this very vibrant cheek situation we have going on. There is also nothing separating these three shades. They are all pressed basically essentially into the same pan. So let's give these a swatch. Feels very soft. I don't know if I've ever used a K-Beauty eyeshadow before. I really don't know. We'll swatch these on my wrist. Ooh, very smooth. That metallic is beautiful. Oh, oh, hello. Well, those are really nice, actually. Dang. I feel like those metallic shades are very, very thin, but super impactful. Like, packs way more of a punch than I was expecting, actually. Well, all right then, uh, that is uh, that is promising. And uh, price point wise, this retails for $11.60 on the Stylevana website, which is not a lot for like a trio, but at the same time, I feel like this kind of feels like a single pan of eyeshadow to me, in which case it would kind of be a lot. The packaging is super cute, but it does feel like a very lightweight plastic, like it doesn't feel super, super high end, 
but it did swatch really nice so we'll, we'll see how it performs on the eyes but first we have a few other things to open so i got another shadow this one says the universe glitter shadow on it we've got a little hollow situation going on here with the lettering i'm very curious to see what this looks like because i can't really see through the box it's like a translucent ish plastic but it's such a dark blue that you can't really see and the shade i was sent is 04 black hole Super, super curious. And the Stylevana website says with this one that it's normally $10.15, but it's marked down 40% off to $6.09. <gasps> oh my god, guys. Can we please take a moment for this eyeshadow? Holy macaroni. I'm, I don't, it, uh, I have no words. It's so pretty. I was really not expecting this at all so first of all you have this really cute little hollow detailing on the um, exterior packaging lid and then the actual shadow itself is the most stunning duochrome sparkle so it shifts from like a lime green to like a burgundy like how stunning is that seriously and when i read the words glitter shadow i was thinking maybe this would be more of like an actual legitimate pressed glitter but it's not it's more of like a micro fine ultra shimmery pressed powder kind of like the kaja ones oh i'm so excited to swatch this oh my goodness oh my goodness let's see wow that is so pretty guys so this is like more of a topper wow Wow, wow, wow. That is absolutely stunning. Super, super thin formula with tons of reflect when it hits the light. It doesn't have a lot of like thick, chunky texture to it. So I don't think this is going to enhance texture on your lids. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Definitely the kind of thing I think though that you would want to tap on with a finger and not necessarily apply with a brush. I don't think this would pick up well with a brush. But like just to add a little veil of sparkliness on top of a look. Yeah, that is super fun. 100% gonna be using that today. All right, and then there is one last eye product that was sent over to me. And this looks like it is an eyeliner. This is the Jewel Potent Glitter Liner. Maximum size jewel-like glitter by McQueen New York. It says New York and yet the entire back of this package is in Korean, so take that as you will. So the shade I was sent is Grind Crystal 02. It looks like these are currently retailing for $3.99 on the Stylevana website, so let's open this up and see what it looks like. All right, so this is what we have. The component is super cute, actually. It's kind of this gold sort of brushed lid. We've got some little stars on the packaging and then the liner itself truly is a glitter, just like straight up glitter liner. This one has kind of like a pinkish cast to it and the glitters themselves look like they're kind of iridescent. They have sort of like a rainbow of sparkle to them. This doesn't feel like very high end. I mean, it's a $4 eyeliner and I feel like it kind of is performing like one, like the brush is not super, super fine. So I don't know if I would use this necessarily as an eyeliner per se, but I think if you wanted to add glitter on top of a look, this would be an easy way to do that. All right, well, we have some fun things to play with today. So let's see what I can come up with for a look. So I think I'm gonna start out with my little time eyeshadow trio here. Go in with the matte shade in this as a little uh, crease transition. I don't think I'm going to do anything super groundbreaking today. I kind of just want to see how everything performs. That's going on nicely. I'm realizing now I didn't really prime my lids with anything. Oops. There's like a little residual concealer on there, but normally I would use like a MAC paint pot or something like that. But uh, not gonna lie, I'm pretty sleepy. I'm filling this at nine something at night after a very 
long day of running around, so my brain is not entirely with it. Either way though, for my lids not being like super well primed, this shadow is going on beautifully. It's not like insanely pigmented, but it's showing up nicely and it's not patchy at all. Colors diffusing out really nicely. I'm not unhappy with that. The only thing that kind of sucks about having three colors in one pan though is I feel like you have to be really careful with how you dip your brush into each individual shade so you don't accidentally pick up another one. Anyway, let's uh, let's move along. I'm going to go into the darker brown metallic shade next. I'm using a little flat shader brush to pick this up. There's a lot of powder on this brush and quite a bit of kick up in the pan as well. I'm going to tap this onto the outer corner of the eye and I'll blend it also up into the crease a little bit since this is really all we have as like a deepening shade. I really want to use that glitter shadow on the lid because that is just too pretty to not use. These are performing nicely though. I mean, they swatched really well, so I kind of had high hopes. But yeah, for like a soft, everyday kind of look, this is not a bad little um, trio. I think I'm gonna save the champagne shade as an inner corner highlight. So let's just go in with this really fun shadow here. I'm going to apply this with my finger. I'm not gonna apply this over a glitter primer just to kind of see how it does on its own, but I have a feeling that this is something that I would eventually plan to apply over a tacky base just to minimize fallout. Ooh. That is so, so pretty and so, so cool. Man, for like six bucks? Right, it was like six dollars, right, for this? That is so fun. Definitely getting fallout though under the eyes. Yeah, like 100% probably could use a tacky base. You know what the shadow kind of reminds me of? The Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows. I feel like kind of has a very similar vibe to it. Similar level of opacity, like more of a sheer topper and just a lot of really fun sparkle, kind of equal with the fallout but this is a lot cheaper, so there's that. I'm just gonna grab a little pencil brush. I'm gonna take some more of that matte shade and just throw this on the lower lash line to kind of quickly tie everything together. And then I'm gonna go into that champagne and I'm just gonna pop that into the inner corner. A little bit of a highlight. All right, so that is the shadow on. I think I'm gonna skip over adding the extra glitter on top. I feel like that pressed glitter shadow kind of did enough on its own. But I'll have to test this guy out another time and let you know what I think of it. So I don't have a mascara from Stylevana, so I'm just gonna throw that on real quick and then we'll finish things off with lips. All right, so we have one product left in this box, which is a lipstick. So this is from Coringo. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's their Cherry Chew Bonnie Lipstick. Like everything on this is in Korean. I, I can't read anything on this package. And the shade I got is uh, 02 and the name is in Korean. So I, I have no idea what it is. I'll have to look it up and see. All right, so it says 02 Cherry Cola, which has me slightly worried. I mean, this does have a red sticker and I, I don't know how much a red lip would really go with the look that I have going on right now. So, uh, Let's see. It's a cute little pink bullet though, I will say that much. And it uh, looks like this guy you can get for $4.29 on the Stylevana website. All right, so this has one of those almost like tinted lip balm style slanted applicators. It's not really like a traditional bullet where you're gonna have like a really crisp line. And uh, let's see what this swatch is like. All right, that does pack a bit of a punch. It's got a nice shiny finish to it, a little bit of translucency, so I feel like this could go on sheer, 
but it could definitely be layered up to be full intensity and that is like a juicy a juicy red again this feels very k beauty to me when i think of like the whole popsicle lip vibes like this kind of shade definitely also comes to mind. So yeah, I would not necessarily pair this lip with like the pink cheeks and this eye situation I have going on. I would probably do something nude, but just for the sake of trying it on, I'll, I'll show you what the color looks like. So it glides on like super, super creamy. Definitely would probably use a lip liner with this, if I wanted to get like a really crisp lip line. And I do feel like this feels a little thick on my lips, but I also did have a lip balm on underneath. So I think there's just a lot of product on my lips at the moment. I don't think it would feel so much that way if I wasn't wearing the lip balm underneath this. The whole thing together actually doesn't look quite as bad as I was thinking with like all the different colors going on. I probably wouldn't pair this cheek i think is probably what i would change the lip and the eye actually is not quite so bad but the the cheek color is a little a little bright a little more pink than i would go with a lip that has these like more fall vibes but yeah as far as the actual like consistency of the lipstick goes it's really nice super super emollient definitely has also that lip butter kind of vibe to it and the pigmentation is like is serious this is a beautiful like fall shade to me this is giving me all of the crispy leaves changing colors autumn breeze pumpkin spice kind of feels i am kind of curious also to see like if i blot this down a little bit like what kind of stain it will leave behind So that was not on my lips for very long at all, and it definitely left behind a very noticeable stain. So I think this is going to be the kind of product that is going to wear away pretty nicely. Like if you're wearing it all day and you go to eat or drink, because it's so creamy, I would probably blot a bit of it off so that way you're not getting a ton of lipstick on your food or on your, you know, cup or whatever but it's not going to wear away patchily or leave you with like that weird ring around your lips. Like it seems to tint things with this really nice, pretty red shade and it all looks nice and even. Maybe I'll go back in with a little of my Frutia lip balm here and add a little bit of that shine back on. All right, so that was everything that Stylevana sent me to unbox for you guys. So let me zoom you out and we'll wrap things up with some final thoughts. All right guys, so here is my final look using a bunch of Korean makeup products that Stylevana sent me. You'll have to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing me unbox and try on all of these Korean makeup products. If you did, I hope you will consider giving this video a thumbs up. I always appreciate your support so, so much. And a big thank you to Stylevana for sending me these products to test out. It is always so much fun to get to play with some new makeup goodies. No, this video is not sponsored, but again, these products were sent to me for free, so I do really appreciate that. And if this is your first time here to my channel and you would like to hang out with yours truly again in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button before you go. That way my face will show up in your subscription feed and we can hang out together again in the future. On that note, it is about time for me to go wash all of this off and go get ready for bed, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in another video. Bye guys.